Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and today I wanted to show you guys something fun in IQ Designer. Um, this is the Baby Lock Solaris 3, but this will work on any of the um, IQ Designers in your Baby Lock machines. So you can see this has a little flower right here, but let's back out so that you can see what we're going to do. Um, what we're going to do is to show you the difference uh, that the selection tool makes when you are using this mirror image little function right there, okay? So actually let's go to all clear and we'll build this so you can see from the start. So I'm gonna to go to the shapes section here. I'm gonna to go to that third section, which are the open shapes. I'm gonna grab that little flower, which is number 23. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. So we're going back. So we've got um, the flower outline here. It may be hard to see but I will fill in the, um, the little section so you can see it better. So I grabbed that paint bucket so that you can see the flower uh, better and make that whole thing red all at once. I will grab that paint bucket there so that we can, oops, you know what? <laughs> We've already got our line property turned to uh, green. So when I select the line property up here and I click on this, when you see shapes that are not connected, and this is difficult to see, but these petals of these, in fact, I can, I can show you here. Let's fill those in so that you can see each petal. So I'm gonna touch, but I do have to grab that paint bucket first. As you can see, if I had that pencil. Okay, so if the camera angle looks a little bit different, it's because my big giant Kane Corso just knocked the camera over. So we're gonna move on here and continue. So what I wanted you to see is each of these flower petals are floating. They're not connected to this stem and that's fine. Um, but when you do use your line property, let's say I picked, let's say I wanted to use red for my stems. Okay, I don't, but let's say I click on that, that leaf. Because that leaf is not connected to this whole thing, it turns red, on, on, only that leaf will actually turn red. And that's the same thing with your um, fill properties. But we are gonna go back to the green. Um, and something you could do is you could do a, a variety of colors of green in there too, or shades of green. So I'm going to grab green from this part and we're going to fill in our paint bucket. But once again, if I only, if I have my paint brush, it's going to allow me to do that kind of thing, but not fill the whole thing in at once. So we're going to back up so that there are no more, um, little lines and that can stay there because watch what happens. I'm going to put that paint bucket on and I'm gonna fill this in. So now the whole leaf turns green. So we've got that leaf, that leaf. There, it's hard to see the outline. So I'm kind of just making sure I hit them all. Okay, so we are good there. Now, what? here's what I wanna show you. If I go to the selection tool that's right here, I'm gonna select that. And if I use the magic wand, Okay, and I select, let's say I, I, I hit this. It's gonna select just that flower, but you can see in this little area right here, all of these buttons are no longer grayed out. So if I hit that mirror image, that's going to just turn that flower. But what if you, you know, if you can't isolate, if you want to isolate the bulb of that flower, you can. But if you wanna, do you want to capture the entire thing, grab on this little shape here, that little square, and you can point poke anywhere on here and just drag and draw, drag and, and, and uh, computer people use some term. I dragged and dropped that. Maybe that's how you're supposed to say it. I don't know. But now we're going to go to this little mirror image once again, and you will see the entire image flip like that. Okay. Now, if I want to duplicate that, Okay, and I maybe want to put one down here, duplicate it again, put another one up here, but let's say I want to mirror image that. I can do that, okay? So there are a myriad of things you can do with this, but just, I wanted you to be clear that if you want to grab that whole thing, and you can use a couple different um, varieties of that, you can do that. And then you've got your, um, your magic wand, and I, I know there are lots of other features here. I'm not covering everything. I'm just showing you the difference between those two functions right there that if you want to grab that whole rose at once, grab and select the whole thing, okay? So hopefully that helps you guys. One more thing to just kind of play with and work with, and it just expedites your digitizing process within IQ Designer um, and makes it a more um, 
just a better tool for you to be able to use when you can use all of these functions. Uh, and it, 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 like I said, it expedites what you're doing. Um, and actually, as I'm looking at this, we can include the rotate button and, you know, you can, you can do that. You can, you can do whatever you want. You can drag and drop that there, whatever you want to do. Okay. I hope that was helpful. If you guys haven't joined So Blessed Quilting and Embroidery, please do so. Um, we, we do have some changes coming, but they're slow and we will get there. They'll be all for the, the, the betterment of uh, your learning. And I know a lot of you have written me and said that these videos are helping you. So that, that, that makes me happy because I know that they are reaching the baby lock world out there and um, they're helping you learn your wonderful machines or they're exposing you to some feature that you might be interested, um, especially on these amazing Solaris. They are fabulous machines. Um, so have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.